now that we have our content piece pretty much wrapped up, it's time to talk about how to extend Drupal and to make it do what you really want. In this video, I want to introduce you to modules. Modules and themes are the primary way you will extend or add features to your Drupal website. Well, as I think you're probably beginning to understand, Drupal is unbelievably robust. And even out of the box, Drupal offers a very complete content management system. But let's face it, sometimes we need more. And that's where modules come in. Modules add features to your Drupal website. There are three kinds of modules in Drupal. There are core modules. These are the modules that come with Drupal out of the box. They can be turned off, but you should never go into the core area of your website using FTP, for instance, and remove these modules. They'll just be installed again the next time you update Drupal. These core modules are designed for the basic functionality of Drupal. There are contributed modules, and we've already installed one. We installed Devel earlier. A contributed module is a module that someone in the community decides is needed for the project. They build it, it gets tested and approved, and it's available at Drupal.org. We did that when we installed Devel. The final kind of module is a custom module. This is where you just have some functionality that you need that nobody else has thought of to this point, and you obviously have to either build it yourself or pay someone to do it for you. There are a lot of modules available for Drupal. Over here at Drupal.org, you'll see that there are 32,000 modules. Now, a couple of things to remember about modules. One, they do a variety of things. One module might add a field to a content type, while another module might add a complete voting system for your entire website. Number two, you can only use a module that's compatible with the version of Drupal you're on. And so you'll always need to filter your modules here at drupal.org slash project slash modules. Number three, when you do filter them, they're always listed in the order of popularity. Now, if you recall, we've already installed a number of modules. We did that using Drush at the beginning of the course, but there's a few other modules that we want to take a look at. We want to look at the admin toolbar. This is a brand new version of admin menu, which was a really popular module for Drupal 6 and Drupal 7. One of the things to remember as well with this course, we're recording it fairly soon after Drupal 8 was delivered, and so a lot of the most common modules still aren't available. Don't worry, we're going to play with a few to enhance our site and make sure you understand how they work. We're going to install admin toolbar, as I mentioned. We're also going to install Views Slideshow and Video Embed to round out how our content is used, what we can display, and how our content is displayed. So let's dive in. We'll install these modules the traditional way and configure them as we go.